Hello and welcome to the eighth race of the NNSCRA Amazon Prime Truck Series. We are here at Kentucky for 27 laps of action. And it is going to be hopefully another great race. Last week, Darius Dadgar captured his second win on the season and propelled himself straight back into the points lead he currently has a two point lead over austin colano cole deaver six points back in third with alex hoover and alex ferranti tied for fourth seven points back each with the way the recent races have gone the points have really tightened up once again looking at the rest of the top 10 your pole sitter six in points zachary delello 10 points back then we have three drivers, 12 points back, being India Nanjiami, James Richardson, and Logan Bradley. With Dorian Face Plunger, 10th in the standings, 15 back in total. As I'm trying to recall, 37 points is the most you can gain. We have 21 drivers within that range right now. If this was the finale, that would be how many with a, quote, shot to win this championship as there are two squirrels running around outside on the porch going crazy anyway to the starting lineup Delello on the pole with Lex Dion in second row two is Derek Hamill and Alex Ferranti row three Connor Vargas and Josh Drake row four is Zach Flickinger and Logan Bradley and in row five Anthony Lopez and Dorian face puncher Let's quickly find the 51 of Darius Dadgar starting 29th so he's got work to do but we'll go back up to his teammate in the 54. 27 laps of action here at Kentucky. Let's go trackside for the command to fire engines. All right, well, the fun doesn't start until we ask our drivers a question. Are you ready? Drivers, will you please start your So, we've had a wild few races lately. We had Oswego. Actually, honestly, most the whole season's been pretty wild. Oswego, um, kind of a single final finish there, but a lot of door banging going on there. M&Ms, which is wild every time. Charlotte, we saw a pass in the grass, which I don't think anything can top that. That was pretty crazy. And then last week at Iowa, we had a IndyCar-like race where it was kind of difficult to pass so we'll see what we get here today at kentucky we had a great race at our last mile and a half which was at atlanta so hopefully we can have another great race here today trucks are coming down to the start finish line in the tri -oval. green flag is out we are underway in ferranti already making it three wide with a move to the top Derek Hamill going to waste no time moving into second place. Dion trying to fall back in line. As now Hamill moves to the inside of Delello. Three and four with less banking showing that the bottom will be efficient. Vargas is going to make it three wide on the bottom. Now we're almost, now we're three wide for third. Three wide, a couple rows here. And it looks like the bottom will be the line to go with right now. Anthony Lopez in the 99s trying to make his way to the lead as we are three wide, several rows deep. Here comes Alex Hoover in that six machine with Charlotte winner Andrew Rich behind him. Jesse Turner, a two-time winner on the season. Oh, and we got a wreck. Alex Gray's around. Sam Rogers was in the grass. Oh, and we got another wreck. Charles Belding, Derek Hamill, they've wrecked. And Hamill right down in front of Dadgar, who does get on the brakes. Alex Hoover, though, your race leader. But problems for 10th place driver Charles Belding. We see Alex Gray 
Belding's got to find the way back up to his position. That's what Derek Hamill's doing. Hamill was 11th at the start finish line. Here comes Belding up on the inside as well. No one pitting. We'll see if the 43 does or not. Nope, he will not. So he's going to get in line and so will Belding. And it looked like maybe a casual spin for Alex Gray. But the 31 of Connor Lewis is going down pit road. So let's take a look and see exactly what, out, what brought out the caution for the first time today. Well, I know the track's wide enough, but we're going four wide here. Gray on the bottom of Deaver, Sam Rogers, and Josh Drake, as well as uh, Logan Bradley. But right here, right off the corner, just no room. Deaver gets pinched in the middle. He's going to turn Gray first. Across the nose of his eight truck, Sam Rogers then clips into Josh Drake, and that's what sent Sam into the grass. Great save by the 10 truck. But right here, Lou of nowhere to go. Keith Miller's going to get a piece. And then up the track, Lube goes into the wall along with Scott Roush in the 38. Those guys just ended up spinning. And then up ahead, they're four wide here. And everyone's pinching to try and get a line. And Hamill is going to get turned by DeLello. You see Cody Smart, Ferranti involved as well as Hamill and Belding go into the wall. Luckily, that was... All that occurred there, so we should maybe see 29, 30 trucks still on the racetrack as we'll get you to the race restart. Getting ready to go back racing. There'll be 21 laps of action remaining. Let's see if they can go green now that they've going to be restarting single file here. Probably going to see another wreck or two. Um, that's just a prediction of mine. Um, Alex Hoover is the leader. Andrew Rich is second. Jesse Turner third. Anthony Lopez fourth. James Richardson fifth. Brandon Gonzalez sixth. Zach Flickinger seventh. Connor Vargas, 8th, Philip Parker, 9th, and Charles Belding is 10th. Uh, depending on the damage he, him and Hamill received there, it'll be interesting to see how up to speed they are on the restart. The 31 of Lube has continued here after going down pit road to fix his damage. So still 30 trucks on track, 21 laps to go. We'll see if they can keep it clean and green. Here we go, cameras are flashing all around. As they get past the restart zone, green flags back out. Rich and Lopez will move to the high line, possibly trying to get a bit of a run going into the corner. And that's exactly what Lopez gets as he's gonna cross under Jesse Turner into the corner. Zach Flickinger, Charles Belding also on the top lines. As Lopez and Richardson are the first two to try and make their way towards the front. Hoover's still going to be the leader here, though, after the first lap, it seems. And that is the case. The sixth truck remains the leader, but Belding is falling to the back. And now James Richardson into turn one will take the lead away from the six of Alex Hoover. Connor Lueb, though, heavily damaged. Already four seconds away from Scott Roush, so possibly a truck that could be in the way if this thing goes green. As Richardson gets to lead his first lap of the day, Connor Vargas moves up to second place. Turner has found the way back to the bottom a lot quicker than I thought. And he moves back up to third with Andrew Rich behind him in fourth. Lex Dion, Cody Smart, Josh Trick, and Dorian Face Puncher all on that bottom line. Bumper to bumper. Turner moved up to second, but now Rich will make the move for that position. So we are three wide here near the front. Right now, James Richardson, the truck in control. Belding has fallen to the back end of the pack. As now Smart will make it three wide for second. Oh, now we're four wide. Jesse Turner is at the top of this four wide. This will not end well. Still clean and green. They got it back to three wide action. 
as Cody Smart for the first time in two or three laps will challenge for the race lead. Challenge James Richardson, that is, and Connor Lueb is definitely going to be in the way, and they're wrecking! That's Darius Stadgar spinning around, your points leader. As they race back, Austin Kalano with a move for the race lead. This will prevent them from catching the 31 for now. And it will be the 12 of Kalano leading the field at the line. But Darius Dadgar is the man spun in circles here for the second caution flag today. Brandon Gonzalez, I believe, also involved. He was near the front. Jesse Turner has some back bumper damage to his spoiler. But the 12 of Kalano, new race leader here today. See if anyone will opt to come down pit road. It has been a theme lately where drivers haven't been sure if they are going to have enough gas to make it the whole race. And nobody pits from the incident. So we'll take a look, see what happens to the 51, and we'll take you to the race restart. So here we go. What happens here is Lex Dion decides he wants to pass Andrew Rich coming off the corner. And that makes him, them in a four-wide scenario. So Dadgar and Sam have no time for this reaction. Dadgar probably didn't even get the message until they were already too late. And then, so Dion, Sam, Rich, Turner all slamming the wall. As Dadgar gets sent sliding around. Look, at Sam Rogers is just going to get into the inside wall there. Cole Deaver making contact with the 51 truck. That's going to send him around some more. Anthony Lopez barely grazes by Gonzalez was at the back because he hit the brakes so he could miss this. So great job by Gonzalez. He had nowhere to go. He got on the brakes and he avoids getting damage. But just a split decision there by Dion and Dadgar had no time to receive the message that he was four wide coming off the corner. And that's what brings out the second caution flag of the day. So let's see what happens here on the second restart of the race. All right, we're getting ready to go back racing. There will be 12 laps of action remaining. Fit, fitting, considering the 12 truck is the race leader. So Austin Kalano leads. Logan Bradley second. Connor Vargas third. Cody Smart fourth. Josh Drake fifth. Nathan Stapleton is sixth. James Richardson seventh. Alex Hoover eighth. Dorian Face Puncher ninth. And your pole sitter, Zachary DeLillo, is tenth. So nobody pit to fix damage. The trucks we're looking at are the 210, 17, and 51. They mostly got some small aerodynamic damage, but we saw that did affect Charles Belding when he wrecked after taking the caution. It has also affected Derek Hamill, who sits in 19th place now. So we've got probably six to eight trucks with small damage here. Aside from the 31, who could become the big roadblock if this thing goes green. Bradley tried to make a move high that let Vargas in on his inside very easily. That's going to push the 88 towards the back. There's no truck in 10th place to hold people up this time around. As Cody Smart makes a move to the inside of Vargas. Stapleton will get pushed up by the six of Hoover as we're already three wide here at the front. And now we're going three wide for the lead, but Cody Smart will lead that lap as Josh Drake now at his inside. And if we see more of that middle of the corner move making, we'll see more accidents. But right now it looks like there are quite a handful of trucks with that aerodynamic damage that has split up this field as Dorian Face Puncher goes for the lead, here comes pole sitter Zachary DeLello as we're coming to 10 laps of action. And Richardson will make a move at the line. Trying to shoot down on that apron. Can't quite get it done, but he will take the lead here into turn one. Lopez behind him, Logan Bradley going for third. 
as right now we're just cycling leaders the tires still not worn enough to where they have to lift enough to make it interesting now three wide for the lead as Hoover follows Bradley so the 43 of Hamill once again seeming to maybe hold up some drivers as Hoover goes for the lead Luob, Dadgar, and Scott Roush all very far off the field. Don't know if we'll see these leaders catch the 38 and the 51, but the 31 is definitely going to be a danger. As they, are, they are four wide again here in the pack. They get it back to three wide as Hoover will lead them to the line. Eight laps to go. And now they're three wide for second smart Colano and Vargas three wide behind again Nathan Stapleton trying to race his way towards the front tire wears becoming huge you want to be singled out you don't want to be the line to get caught catching this guy right here who is very slow five seconds off Colano will get moved three wide to the top so smart and Stapleton single file behind Hoover JJ Roberts will change that he's trying to go for third there on the apron we have a total of 15 trucks up here going for this win. Top three, though, single file. A Ford and two Chevys. DeLello getting the push from Bradley there off of two. And now Stapleton will make a move to the inside of Smart for second place here at seven to go, coming to six to go. And they are catching the 31 truck right now, so this will be dangerous. How will Hoover handle this? You know, he's going to have to slam the brakes, but he makes the move to the top. Stapleton follows. So does Cody Smart. Dorian face puncher as well. Smart actually was able to keep most of his momentum. So was face puncher. They're making the move to the inside of Stapleton here. Face puncher's creeping there on the inside corner of the 21. So now it's a Ford against three Chevys, but the Lello and the rest have managed to get by. And this has allowed Parker and his group to move up. And now Face Puncher making the move on Cody Smart for second place. Face Puncher going for the victory here. But Hoover is still out front. Still a chance maybe to catch the 51 and the 38. Could be close. You want to get by the six before they catch though because he gets that draft. It's going to be tough to pass him. Here comes Face Puncher, though, at four to go. To the inside of Alex Hoover in turn one. And he will complete the pass on Alex Hoover. And now Stapleton will go to the inside of the six. Logan Bradley behind the 14 to 99, behind him. And then the pole sitter, DeLello. Ferranti has found his way closer to the front. Three laps to go. Philip Parker, Indian Nanjiami now in the pictures. They're three wide for fourth place. Bradley to the inside of Stapleton for second. Face puncher, though, leading strong. Will they catch the 51 and the 38? I'm not thinking they are. And now Ferranti makes it three wide for third. Vargas behind him, as is Flickinger. Two laps to go. We're still green. Oh, but we're four wide in the back with Richardson and others. Oh, are they going to hold on to this? Stapleton was going to fall back three wide. But Parker's got a huge run. We're getting bundled up here in the back off of turn two. Face puncher still leads. We're still four wide. Lopez will fall back. We'll clear the three wide. We're four wide, though, right up here. Coming out of turn four for the white flag. They're going to hold the four wide. We're going one more lap as Sack Flickinger moves up in the second. Still four wide. And they're wrecking. Cody Smart, Ferranti, Bradley in the wall. Huge crash. Here comes James Richardson and Philip Parker on Dorian Face Puncher. Parker makes the move for second. He can't quite get there. Richardson's going to make a move. Middle of the corner. Here we go. Off of turn four. Coming to the checkered flag. James Richardson got it, I think. Sorry for the terrible camera work, and he did. 
last lap pass with a huge crash James Richardson gets it done and we had a huge wreck going into turn one that took Ferranti straight down into DNF territory And the session is official. Ferranti will end up 29th. Darius Dadgar, Scott Roush still near the bottom. Looks like everyone else in that wreck was able to get to the start finish line, but we see Andrew Rich fall to 26th. Deaver 24th. Hoover 22nd. Smart 21st. Delello's down there 19th. Bradley 18th. Sam Rogers in 17th. Looks like we will have to take a look at this replay, but James Richardson. Your winner here today at Kentucky in a photo finish with my terrible camera work. Dorian Face Puncher second, Philip Parker third, Josh Drake fourth, Flickinger fifth, Stapleton, Gonzalez, Vargas, Lopez, and Alexander is your top ten. We'll take one more quick look at that last lap. Since I had terrible camera work, but first we will look at the wreck that started with the 21. And actually started back here with the one in the 54. They hit doors. They bounce off. And then everyone's going to narrow up trying to get the best angle for the corner. And the one in the 54 hit doors again. Right into the 6 goes the 54. And then right here, we're wrecking. Smart, Hoover, Bradley, Ferranti. Br Ferranti slams the wall hard. Now Giami gets into it. Hoover's going to get a piece. That sends Hoover up into the wall. And I'm guessing we had some trucks come in late here. Trying to see who maybe the first one was that got hit. It might have been this group back here. I saw Andrew Rich near the bottom, so... I'm not sure what happened to him. Oh, there was a group back here. Rich, Dion, and Deaver. I'm wondering if they pit. What are the lap times show here? I don't know. Maybe they were just damaged. They were just damaged trucks. So everyone keeps it going. Belding's going to round up to that finish there. And then here's the move by Richardson. We'll go full mo here at TV1. Makes the move to the inside of Dorian Face Puncher. And then there's really no good angle here. But right there, Richardson hits the start finish line. Captures the wind. Face puncher probably obviously devastated. But James Richardson gets it done here at Kentucky. So I'll see you guys next week for the Lone Road Course event. We're going to Canada for Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Holy crap. Can't wait to see what happens there. See you guys then.